Hello everyone, Peter the Fluency back again with another deck here. This is the Danny the Otis deck of cards. It says the Otis playing cards. Uh, it says that right there, expert playing card company. Four pips and established 1980, I guess that's when he was born. There is gold foil on the tuck case. Uh, this is the second in the signature series from Conjuring Arts. Does everyone have to do signature series or what? <laughs> that just seems like everyone's doing that. Um, apparently the first one in the series is the Chameleon, so I'm wondering what is the other two colors, but one color is good enough. <laughs> Moving along, on the side it says, there you go, Expert Signature Series number two. The other side says, designed by Atno Creative, which is actually Antonio Martinez, or Martinez, however you might pronounce it. <laughs> the top, uh, again, more foil, and it says, playing cards at the bottom has a uh, produced by and distributed by Expo Point Card Company in New York, designed by Acno Creative and GrupalCaps.com. That's what that logo is there on the left, on the right, the expert logo. I don't know who Grupal Caps is, so I looked it up. The back, see the back design, which is similar to Dan and Dave, except it's a D-O instead of a D-D. <laughs> and it says, it's your life. Danny the artist. So it's your life. Get this if you want or if you don't want. <laughs> don't get it. There's no seal. On the flap there is a little spade pit. And that is that. Nothing on the inside. Just a blue color. Then we get into the cards. The Joker is a foot. <laughs> and it says why. And Joker in the corner is in black. And this is one of Danny the artist's uh, personal uh, phrases that he uses which is included in there the other joker says why not and it's a foot holding the seven of cards reveal why not why the hell not the back design it's yellow and blue a nice color i think and again it's your life danny de ortiz with the do do in the center it's pretty nice but i think that if he had gotten somebody else who's done playing cards whatever, Rick Davidson or, you know, um, Paul Ruckio or somebody like uh, Paul Carpenter or Jackson Robinson involved, it would have been a lot more ex extravagant looking playing cards. Similar, could have been similar, but it would have been a little bit nicer, I think. The Ace of Spades just has a DD in it again, D-O-D-O, actual playing card company designed by Atmo Creative. Um, I don't know what other playing cards they might have designed, if any. The stack came in a personal stack, by the way. A Danny's personal stack. Unfortunately, I shuffled up the cards before I could get a look at the stack. And apparently it costs 22 bucks to get a PDF on the stack from Continent Arts, which I think is pretty expensive, especially considering a lot of websites will, you know, give you the info easily for free whether it's on a, a marking system or a stack or whatever. So, seems a bit pricey. The court cards, fairly standard, except they got chubby faces. How creative. Reminds me of the chicken nuggets deck. Just a little bit. I don't know why I'm showing you them all, but I will. It is all done in like Danny's style and whatnot saying that the phrase is it's your life is another one of his phrases number cards are basically standard so that is that <laughs> some people do not like this deck at all too much writing on the back the cards and whatnot and other people don't mind it or they like it i don't mind it the back design of the cards it's pretty nice um I would say four to five, perhaps. The faces, pretty interesting, pretty standard. I would probably say again, four to five. I just cannot compare this design-wise to something like the Lux playing cards or the Jackson Robinson deck. Uh, it is a classic Finnis, that's what playing cards and stock. Classic finish in stock, so fairly standard. Haven't used it a whole lot, just a little bit of clumping. 
I would probably say you know, four and three quarters for handling wise. So overall, you know, good four, four and a quarter out of five. You know, it's a good solid deck. It'll be good for magic or practicing, especially if you remember to jot down that stack. <laughs> and apparently it also comes um, with a built-in production, which again, obviously, I don't know what that is because I shuffled it up, stupid me. Um, anyway, it is what it is. It's a good solid deck if you need one for practice or for magic. It can be used. It can be used for card games. It can be used for forcing, I, uh, I assume, or at least for practicing forcing. Not the best deck for forcing. But, um, you know, it's a good solid deck, whatever you might need. That is that. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time, of course. And don't forget to check out CollectiblePlayingCards.com, PlayingCards.net, CardPoint.com. Links and discount codes in the description box below. Save, save, save. See you next time.